We're finally here, my friends. The promised land. Juventus is a very historic, special club that I've wanted to manage. Hang on, one second. It's my agent. Yellow. Yeah. What? Uh, but I've um, I've de I've decorated my room, mate. Yeah. And they definitely said no. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, no, no. That's fine. Yeah. I'm not. I wasn't really bothered. Yeah. Not been a big fan. It's got a stupid nickname, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye, Bowie. Like I said, my friends, AS Roma, what a club, uh, incredible history, maybe haven't won the most in recent years, but, but that's why it's a challenge, and that's why this was the team that I most wanted to manage in this ever, I just, it's just, oh, I'm so excited to get started, I wouldn't have picked anybody else. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome from my friends. Welcome. Now, <laughs> there's a little asterisk here. Um, I'm going to show you around the club, and you might, the eagle-eyed amongst you, might notice one or two problems. Okay, I haven't looked around everything. Um, we do have some ongoing negotiations that I might need to sort out, but we'll worry about that in a minute. I'm going to show you around the club, see how we get on. And then, one thing I haven't looked at is how Randers is getting on. I'm desperately scared of what they've done in the transfer window. But we've got the job pretty quick. So, I did like the idea of Juventus. And I thought, you know, they hadn't won the league for a bunch of seasons. that turned into a sort of eighth, ninth place team for a number of years, up and down a bit. Um... And then I sort of, but I wanted to go to Italy. And then the first job that became available, other than some small teams, Monza came available and I thought about it, but no, was Roma. And I had a look, I had a little look-see. I had a little look-see. How have they, how have they been doing it? So you might not see much mention of the name. So they had that run of being worse than Juventus for a number of years. The last time they actually won the league was 40 years ago. 40 years ago, 40 years of hurt, um, and about 10th second places and since then. But they are the most consistently okay team I've seen in a long time. Normally you look at an AI team and it's kind of, oh, Europe, oh, mid-table, oh, Europe. They don't mess about, my friends. They must have the most bored fan base. <laughs> it's like, oh, wonder where we're going to finish this year. What if it's going to be fifth or maybe sixth? Okay, so this is all good. We looked at the team the other day. We've got Billy Webb, the American legend. Like, he's genuinely, frighteningly good. Now, there's some positives for you. Good, like it, still a good reputation. Now, they were like, in the, in the old chat, you know, the, the interview, they were like, how does 2.2, or something like 2.2 million pounds a week suit you? And I'm like, that suits me just fine. They don't mention, they, they fail to mention that we're spending like 2.6 million pounds a week. So it's not like, oh, this is all you got to spend. It's something like that. So no, it's 2 million pounds wage budget and we're spending 2.3 million. Now, we've also got 13 million pound of debt. Not too bad. We can live with that. They also um, have... Uh, Quarter of a billion pounds of loans, outstanding. We are paying three point two million pounds a month in in just loan debt um, for when's this one? This has got ten million left. It ends next year. This is four million. It's a lot of debt. Originally six hundred and sixteen, so we're getting there. So financially, a little bit of a problem. Now, you know me. You know me. When I get to a new club, I do enjoy a cull. I like looking at the team. Because AI, I like a small team, but even the AI goes way too far, right? Sometimes you join a club and they're like, what are you doing, right? This is their under 18 team, okay? It's about what you'd expect. There's no wonder kids here. There's no great 
young players, but nothing crazy. Under 20s. Okay, first thing you're going to notice, too big. Too big. This is, there's some, there's some good prospects in here, but there's like a bunch of like 19 year olds that are worth a little bit of money, um, but aren't really going to make it. We'll have a, 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 a in more in-depth look later on. We've got some good, some decent youngsters here, but like, he's never going to be world class, is he? And this, these are the best of the bunch. Like, he's fine. He's good. 19. Never going to be world class, is he? Like, n to the level we want them to. Now, if you look at the wages, I'm instantly thinking, well, there's a, <laughs> there's about 50 grand a week's worth of wages we can just call. Now, that's that's bloated, isn't it? It's bloated. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at it. We're not making a football team here, we're gathering an army, apparently. Because what you need in your first team squad is five goalkeepers, all in their mid-twenties. For reasons unknown, my friends. But, as much as a pain, of a pain in the arse it will be to cull this squad, just think of the wages. Just think of the wages. Now, my eyes were immediately drawn because I was looking at wages, how we can cut it down. We need to, we, what was it? We need to slash. It's a lot. <clears throat> About 250 grand's worth of wages a week to get under budget so we can sign players. Now, Billy Webb, high paid player, 31 years old, but he's just so good. I think he's, he, we build a team around him. Now, this guy, Marco De Pasquale, um, Oh geez, will know. Thirty years old, Italian. He's worth a hundred odd million, and he's good. Like he's really good. But is he? Is he thirty years old? One hundred and thirty million good? I don't think he is. I think that's bollocks. Oh, I forgot to say we do have a nine hundred grand to spend as well <laughs> for, for for transfers and and things. Like I don't. It's going to be hard enough to cull this squad, so I don't really want to cull first team play. I just want to get rid of all the dregs and then worry about it. But there is some, there's some overpaid players here now. Unusually for the AI, I think this is probably an improvement. Look, they're not old. This squad isn't old. Normally, you get to the get to join a club that the AI's been in control of a few years, and it's like walking into an old people's home, and there's just like piss everywhere. But no, this. Overall, if you think of it as a heavy bush, wait, just hold with me. And what we need is to curate it into a lovely hedge. There's a good hedge under there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going with the hedge analogy. But there's just a lot of overgrownness, right? There's a lot of, it's, it's very much currently a 70s bush, but we want to. <laughs> okay, let's just move on. Now. Wonder Kid Wise, we got Luca Baggio. Is he is he related? Uh, uh, Fabio, uh, 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 no. Let's pretend he is. Um, he is. Oh, no, gone. We've gone. No, too big a squad. Too big a squad. Uh, he's a very solid out and out winger. Out and out winger. That's kind of his entire job. He's loan listed, but I really think he could probably play some first team football. We'll worry about that later. Um, we've also got Pascual Ballesteros, who is a <laughs> right winger. <laughs> um, so maybe that's why the other guy's loan listed. But that's two right winger wonder kids. They are kind of only the pr like the top end wonder kids. We've got Vittorio Moons. We've got some, like, good squad player wonder kids, but nobody that's really going to, like, turn into a superstar. So, I've got a lot of work to do. I've got a lot, but then, like, if you look at some of these dregs, right? He's, this guy here, 26 years old, he's on 37 grand a week. Right? He's 37 grand a week. We can, we can cull that. We can loan some out. We can get rid of some. Now, rules. Because there's non -E there's a maximum number of non-EU signings, right? Was that, was that it? Um, five subs. Fifteen? Fifteen people on the bench? 
15 subs. It's the bloody Euros. 15. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right. Um, now let's just have a quick look. Minimum of four players trained at the club for three years. Classic. Minimum of eight players trained at the same nation. Maximum squad of 25. But I can have 15 on the bench, so that would be 26. Let's not worry about that. Um, can, can replace him? Yep, 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 yep. Free transfers can be registered at any time. Um, we'll worry about that. Oh, look at it. It's too much, and it's too much. Clubs with three or more non-EU players, excluding players out on loan at the end of the previous season, are subject to the... <laughs> I'm going to mess this up. Only the first non-EU player signed from a board who fulfills the following criteria will be eligible to play for the club for the current season. The player has played at least five nat pl matches for his national team, including under-21s. Okay. If he is under-21. So if he's 23, and he's got five... Well, he wouldn't have played for the under It's fine. The player has been called up to the national team at least twice during the season. So he's got to have played at least five all time, but also been called up to the squad at least twice this season, during last season. Doesn't have to have played, but he has to have had five caps. I'm just going to sign Europeans. Simple. Uh, an additional non-EU player signed for more, but he player for... If one of the following has occurred prior to the signing, a non-E player of the club has been is transferred to so if I've sold one. Okay. And the club sees their contract expired terminated. Okay, contract runs out. Gains the EEA nationality. Clubs with two non-EU players. If I haven't got any. Okay, so if I've got not got any, I can just sign three. I can just sign three. Bosh. Three. British players can benefit from the special exemption. Brexit bastards. The first one signed from overseas will not count towards the non-EU. Every subsequent British player will must abide by the rules. Non-EU players signed from the Okay. Official matches until the following season. Managers cannot work for two. Okay. Okay. Clear as mud. Let's just... Have I got... I have... One... One of my goalkeepers is non-EU, but I've got 17 of them, so it's a pro not a problem. Okay, Mosquera, he's not that good. This guy, Milton, who's a right winger. We've seen what we've got a right wing. He's actually almost like a wide time. Okay, um, okay. So he's there's just there's just too many. There's just too many. There's just too many. Yeah, let's look from the like. The top, just quick look at the top players. It's just the goalkeeper and this guy. And Vladislav Shevchenko. Not bad little... He's a perfectionist. Could be right. Okay, so we'll, we'll worry about that another time. Um, staff. Um, missing a few, but... Love a scout. They love a scout around here. Um, they are expected to finish in the season preview six. <laughs> Obviously, why have, I, why have I looked at that? We knew it was fifth or sixth. Like that's that's the law. Juventus are predicted seventh. Um, and that's that's okay. They want me work within wage budget, sell players for a profit. Yes, because massive debt makes sense. They don't want contracts for older players. Minimum four-year contracts for first-team players. Uh, we're in the Europa League. They want us to qualify and then reach the latter stages. Uh, reach the latter stages so they can be competitive. Okay. They want us to sign players under 23. Youth, defensive possession, high tempo. And be competitive against Inter and Lazio. Finish above Juventus and qualify. Fucking really okay, hell. It's like a shopping list. Um, what, so they want us to qualify through Europa League. That's the league position. That's fine. That's fine. That's kind of what we do. I think if I just close my eyes and hit continue, we'd finish six because apparently that's also what we do. Um, we're fine with this. Now, the one thing I haven't really wanted to do, but we're going to have to. Remember, we are only 14th of June. We've got 
50 days of the transfer window left. We have our first league game in a month and a bit. And we have to sort of build a team in that time. And it's against Inter. And then it's Juventus. Brilliant. The fans are going to love that. Great. Um, we're going to go for something a bit different with the tactic-wise. Not just going to reload. As you know, even if I've got a good tactic, I'd like to just make new ones because it's fun. Um, and occasionally then I stumble across something that's actually good. Uh, well, we've got we've got rapid wingers, absolutely rapid wingers. It's nice to see our, our value of our players is high now, just because we're a big club. Um, we do have, so we've got rapid players. Balasteros is the other right one, right? We've got Billy Webb. Got this dude who is not a centre back. <laughs> six jump in reach. I feel like we might have a little hole, but he is an incredible defensive midfielder or ball winning midfielder. Like him a lot, and he's an uh, he's an, an Italian. We've got Andrew Spencer, another right winger. See, this is potentially where we cash in. We've got a very good youngster and two other good, all obviously right wingers. Unless we decide to play with a double right winger combination or probably more likely, an inverted winger on the other side. Our goalkeeper doesn't have... He's not good in the air. Unusual for, like, a like a like everything else is pretty top quality. Um, like, he can be upgraded. We, we've got a bid. <laughs> oh, my... I'm having a little word with that. Uh... <laughs> Um, and then this is the other. Okay, if we want to play right wingers, we are sorted. Italian wise, we're we're lacking a little bit, lacking a little bit of technical ability. Another left winger, another pacey. Well, we got to play a winger formation, <laughs> or really attacking wing back. I don't, I don't hate it. I really don't hate him being a wing back at all. Absolutely flying past people. A little overlap. I've not seen a good centre back yet. <laughs> I think we might find a hole, lads. Okay, this is experience. Okay. Good. There's lots of obvious stuff that can be done here. We've got that good youngster. We've got then we've got some Italian youngsters. We've, we've got. It seems to me a lot of our players are, are decent squad players. We want. We've probably got back seven of the first eleven, and then a lot of decent bench options because you know we've got six hundred people on the bench, so we've got to take that in mind. Right. I'm also on um, twenty-seven grand a week, three-year deal. They trust me. They know. They know what I'm going to do here. Um, do we do it? I genuinely like. I have such. I love this team so much. I'm scared. I'm scared. Brian Prisk is their manager. Okay, pretty good. Lots of experience. <sighs> Season preview. They better still be top. Oh god! If the, if the preview says they're not top, then some. Okay, good. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Oh my god, they've signed bigger Balak Wisher. I looked at him before and his name's quality. I respect that. Okay, forget that. All right. Shone's gone on a free. That's fine. On a couple of the youngsters on a free. Rios has gone to Bournemouth for 9 million, and that's an absolute steal. I would have taken him in a heartbeat. That would have been one of my foreign player spots. So God knows if he could have played or not. But that's an absolute... He's worth 100 million. And that's an absolute... St Please tell me you got a sell-on fee. No, I got him out of. And Gasparini's gone to El Raid. Yeah. I, mm, I think he's still could have been a good squad player. I don't think... You're not going to be able to spend that money and get much better. That's not too bad. Do they lose anybody else? Oh, no! Eisencock's gone. He went straight away. Bloody day after I left, he followed me out. 
He's gone to Newcastle. Oh, no. man. <sighs> I would have I would have signed him in a heart well, if I had any money. Sixteen million. I would have signed him in a heartbeat. Now, do I'm not. Am I? Should I? Can I raid my former team? Because I don't want to. Just, I'm not. I'm going to choose not to. Unless somebody gets like transfer listed or something. Oh, Cockat's going. Where's he going? Don't. He's good. Oh, dear. They've not got much of a squad. Do need to sign some players there, guys. Tackers is wanted by Bournemouth. Man, if Bournemouth get both those players, that is a hell of a pickup. He's only 20 million. He's only 20 million. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to steal players, but, and this is a big but because I might not have any money to spend. I need to sell way loads of stuff first. I need to sell money. Sell money? That's, that'd be weird. Sell players for transfer budget, but also wages. If I can sell like 150 million pounds of players, then potentially... Some of that, half of that, I can put to bolster the wages so then I can sign some players. Now, I will make a promise before we finish this video. I'm not going to pursue any of these players. But if any of them become transfer listed or other teams bid for them, right? Unless it's like a take the piss bid. I won't go, oh, but he's so good for 20 million. He's essentially a replacement for the American. We can play two up top until the American guy dies of old age. Oh, I'm not. I'm not making that wrong. <laughs> I'm like. I'm like. Mm, mm. It's just so. They're just so cheap because the values are so low. How good is bigger balance wish? We okay. Left winger to replace the Noriyuki that they just sold. There's some players here like that are cost would cost me five million that would do a job. I even Pavel's probably an upgrade on what I've got. But so I've got to be careful I don't get any lots of non Gurks. Okay, at least he's worth thirty million. Cockout would be great wing back or deep line playmaker. Oh, Kaka's going, is he? <sighs> they better spend some money. Like, Kiss, I would take, but he, that's the proper money there. We're talking proper money. I can't afford that sort of... <laughs> we lose, they're losing all of their players. Nobody wants Ken. Ken might be the last man standing in this squad. I really think he might survive this. Don't need a right wing. And that's, that's the one thing we definitely don't need. But like, this player's good. Okay, Takas is... Although... Although... Nelly Furtado is quite good. I just... Mm, mm, 20 mil. Do we, what's our striker situation? We've got the youngster. We've got Bartoli. He's oh, alright. Uh, as a backup, he'd be fine. But if we play two up top, Billy Webb's the man. He's not for sale. Um, where do I change the not for sale part? <laughs> Transfer. Um, where do I? Am I going mental? He's he's not not for sale. Why am I? I'm having a brain fart. Let's not worry about it. If only I could find out how much you want, how much he's worth. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, okay. So, by the quick look at this team, we need centre backs. We need central midfielders, although we've got some okay ones that might have to do. We've got Daniel and Daniel. Um, I think maybe we can get a non EU player. Um, I think we can cull a couple of goalkeepers. Um,. That's not... Why do I recognise that name? Is that one of mine? Different save from years ago, I think that is. Like, there's a couple of guys here that are decent backups. That aren't on steady wages. Like, Moyer's fine. As a backup. Great as a backup. Um, 
So we could sell a couple of them. That's eight million quid. Um, the youngster we can maybe just load and sell on, sell with a sell on fee. Okay, so we got about six weeks, five weeks to sell fifteen players by like five realistically. <sighs> And maybe, maybe, maybe Tekka's just, just turns up. And we're like, oh, oh, you're here. Oh, go on then, we'll sign you. Maybe he's followed me on the bus. Desperation. Right, let me know what you think, boys. Where do you think we're going to finish? Sixth. Sixth. We're going to finish sixth, aren't we? I'm hopeful for fifth. I'm going for fifth. We're going big this season and finishing fifth. Because, because that would be, that would be impressive for us. Last, oh, it's fifth, 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 sixth. If we can get, uh, baby steps, get back to fifth. And then stay there for the rest of time. <laughs> I think I think the consistency sort of shows that there's there's probably just a big a big old leap um, in the top four, which it, into Napoli, Lazio, AC Milan, Brianza, which is Monza. Uh, I don't know how they're fucking there. It looks like there's just a top four and then a giant gap. We'll see that when we see the finances and stuff. But let me work me magic. Sign some prayers that are from none of you, accidentally, that I can't play. Um, and then be scared. Tactics-wise, who the fuck knows? Let me know if you're looking forward to it. Let me know. Do we? I think we keep the American, right? Because we can't rebuild so much in one season. He's only 31. We can get two good years out of him. And physicals are really good. Man, him and, him and Tackers, though, up top. But he's, oh my god, he came through. Oh my god, he's like, he's like Ken. <laughs> Accidental trip to Hull. Nobody likes to see that. He's been, um, okay, we, we can't sell him. He can't sell him. He's our franchise player. He is the Ken. Right, there we go, my friends. I'm very excited about this, as you probably have guessed. Uh, once we get out of the quarter billion pound in debt and being massively over budget and having no money to spend, once that's fixed... We're going to be good to go. Maybe even get a fourth. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.